everybody, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Laura and welcome to my channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so now so you don't miss out on future videos and don't forget to hit that notification bell as well. Today we're going to be doing another mukbang. I'm pretty sure I called it mukbang before, but I guess it's mukbang. So that's what we're going to be doing today, just a little bit of chit chat, just casual. Um, I did this makeup look earlier, but I did not film it. Um, as I stated in another video, I've been doing a six week uh, weight loss challenge, and I went to my check in today and I wanted to put some makeup on so it looked nice. Because normally when I'm there, I have no makeup, my hair's up in a bun, and I've been sweating. So just thought maybe I'd look nice today when I went. Plus, I had some errands to run around town, and I was supposed to meet a friend for dinner, but I guess there was a little bit of miscommunication about what the plan was. He's in town on a business meeting, so he was with clients, and I thought, because he asked me if I wanted to go get dinner and drinks, so I thought that just meant me and him, dinner and drinks, I didn't realize there was going to be other people there, and that I wasn't going to be able to choose where we went, because like I said, I'm doing weight loss, and they're at a bar, so there's bar food, which I don't really want bar food, I wanted sushi, so I went ahead and just told him I was going to get my sushi and go home. That's what I'm doing right now. Uh, we've got three sushi places where I live in Bismarck. And uh, one I went to is Colby's, it's the best. I got the amazing tuna roll. This is one of my favorites. I've got four favorites there. This is probably one of the top ones. And then I made some edamame. So I got edamame here. And I like to put um, sriracha, a little bit of sriracha, a little bit of soy sauce, mix it up and then put sea salt on top of it and examine um, gave me that idea and I've been doing it ever since. It just gives it a little kick. I like spicy food. So. And then I was going to just drink water but I couldn't help myself so I opened my summer shandy and I'm going to have a beer. That's just what it's, it's going to be. So I'm going to dive in here because I'm starving. I haven't eaten all day because I have that weight in grab a piece here and then I got my soy sauce with my uh, wasabi mixed in. Tell my lipstick's gonna come off. My lip gloss. It's very pretty, but it just doesn't want to stay. Um, I wasn't going to buy any of the I Love Serene um, Joseph Colors collab, but I went to I went to Ulta yesterday to see what they had left of the Jack Hill Vault collection because I did get it online, but we'll talk about that later. But I kind of, I didn't realize that they were going to have it at Ulta store. I thought it was just going to be online. So then I went to Ulta later on that day to see if my Ulta had it, and they did. But they only had three of the four palettes, and the fourth one that was gone was like the dark one, which is kind of what everybody wanted. So I decided to forego it and just wait for it to come in the mail. And I, I don't know, I guess I went there to buy something, so I decided to buy something. And I got both of the I Love Suri Dose of Colors lip glosses. So this one, the, is it barely there? Barely there. And then I got the, it's pronounced below, the sparkly one. And then I did pick up the eyeshadow palette. I told myself I wasn't going to get them, that I didn't need them, but... Them, so I picked them up. So I hope to do a look on that pretty soon. So this is what I'm wearing today or was wearing barely there. It's very pretty but it just it doesn't stay on it with me. And then I do have my Aphrodisiac Urban Decay eyeshadow on again. That's what that is. And then for my highlight I am wearing my um, Glam Glue highlighter. And this look I have the, it looks white but it actually has like a pink iridescent tone to it. So that's what I have on for my highlight. Anyway, 
anyways, my friend I was supposed to go have dinner with. It's actually an ex of mine. We still are friends. I don't know. He lives in a different town, so I talk to him every now and then. But, um, it kind of irritates me sometimes because he texted me and asked me, do you want to you want to get dinner and have drinks when I'm in town? And I said, yeah, sure. And I told him that I wouldn't be available until after five. And then, um, today I texted him, asked him if he was still coming to town or not. He didn't reply. So I said, okay, well, if, if you are and you want to hang out, I'm like, I'm going to Kobe's at five because my weigh-in is at 4.30 and then I'm going straight to Kobe's to get food, to get sushi. And he responded, yeah, I'll be, I'll be in Bismarck. So I was like, okay. Well, then later on, um, he told me, he's like, yeah, we're at, we're at the bar. And for me to come there. And I was like, well, I, I need to eat something. I need to get some food. And he's like, well, just eat here. And I'm like, I can't, I can't eat there. They're not going to have anything that is going to be okay for me to eat. That's not going to wreck my goal that I have going on right now, which makes me mad because it's like, felt like there was no respect for my goals that I have and there was no respect for the fact that I told them I'd be ready to eat at five and this is where I want to go and now it's like no we're at this place and you need to come here if you want to hang out and then also the fact that he's not there alone he's there with his clients um, for work so I was like well I thought you know dinner dinner and drinks if it was a business meeting then you should have said well I'm going to be with clients do you want to come out and eat with us like made that a little bit more clear he's like well I never said I was gonna be alone yeah but anybody with a brain would say I ask you if you want to go have dinner and drinks clearly it's just gonna be me and you and I'm not inviting other people to come with or it's not a business night or else I would have told you that whatever either way I was just like I'm not getting into this with you right now I'm gonna go get my food and go home and eat if and when I'm done I feel like hanging out I'll let you know Oh my god, men are so annoying sometimes. She's so good. I went to California last year for my birthday with a friend and we had like real authentic sushi somewhere in Santa Monica. I don't remember what the place was called. And honestly, honestly it was too fresh for me. Like what I got, I took one bite of it and it's not that it was bad, it was just, it was too fresh. It was too raw <laughs> for me to eat. I'm like, I can't eat because even like the look of it was grossing me out and it's not because it was like bad fish or anything I just it was too raw for me I couldn't eat it so I'm almost better at you know these places you know in the midwest or whatever that obviously can't be fresh fresh fish but you know they're second class <laughs> second class sushi even with wine I'm enjoy bottles of wine that are in like the $30, $20 range versus bottles that are like really expensive. I remember this one time I went to this restaurant, um, me and a guy I was dating at the time, went to this restaurant in Minneapolis called, I think it's Seven Steak and Sushi. It's a really good place. And we ordered a bottle of wine and we weren't looking to spend a lot of money on wine. So we ordered like the cheapest, I don't remember if it was a white or a red, but they ended up having to like go down to the basement to find it because it wasn't in like their normal area and it took them like probably half an hour. <laughs> it felt so bad. And then it was a screw top. <laughs> Very classy. Very classy. It was good. Enjoyed it. Happen, I do want to do a giveaway. I 
I've actually have gone and picked out some stuff already for a giveaway. So I decided that for 500 subscribers, I will do a um, gift package of Bosha products for a giveaway. And I'm kind of keeping my eye on this because I noticed that this one right here was leaking the other day. So I'm going to have to make sure it's not leaking before I ship it out. If it is, I'm gonna, I don't know, I might have to put it in like a little plastic baggie or something. I don't know. We'll have to see what I'm going to do about that. Along with the subscriber thing, I'm really all about supporting each other because I want people to support me, so I'm going to support other people as well. And I have joined, um, I watched a Sunny, I can't remember what her last name is, I think it starts with an L, and she advised to go on Facebook and join, you know, groups related to what your YouTube is. So I joined a lot of beauty groups on Facebook, and there are quite a few of them that won't let you advertise your YouTube channel. They won't let you put the link in there. And honestly, it's just quite a hassle to deal with them. So I created my own Facebook group where you can advertise your YouTube channel. However, I want it to just stick strictly to YouTube. I don't want people like putting pictures up of stuff and putting non-related makeup stuff up there. I just want it to be strictly YouTube. And then to join this YouTube, or join this Facebook group, um, you have to have a YouTube channel and it has to be beauty, makeup, whatever related to that. And you have to have your YouTube settings for subscribers set to public so you have to be able to see who you have subscribed to. So those are the rules if you want to join it. I will try to put the link to the Facebook group like actually in the video up here. Um, I think it's called a card but I'm not sure how to quite do that yet so if I can't figure it out you won't see it pop up here. But if I can figure it out it will be up there plus it will be in the description down below the link to it. And for right now, this is what it looks like. I just have it pulled up on my tablet here. So that's kind of what it looks like. It's not like real amazing. I'm gonna try to find a different picture to put up there because that picture I have up there is like only part of the picture. It's like cut off. So it'll probably be a different picture up there, but it's called YouTube Beauty Influencers. So if you're interested in joining that, please please go to it, ask to be added to it. It'll ask you a couple questions, fill them out, um, and then once I can verify, you'll be added to the group. And what it'll be is just to get more followers, basically more subscribers, more people that will support you, and to be able to support each other back. That's basically what it's for. So if you're interested in being supported and supporting other people back, this will be the perfect group for you. And I hope it to become something like really big. And like I said, I hope it'll just stick to strictly people posting their YouTube channels and supporting each other. I really don't want to mess with anything else. I don't want people putting up like live videos or um, questions about what products to buy or something like that. Like if you have a video like that, then you could post that video in there, like the link to it. But yeah, so I think that'll be a nice way to get more followers. So like I said, I'll try to put that link in here. And on another note, I had quite a strange thing happen to me the other day. On your video I asked you if you would subscribe back to me and most of you that probably are watching this like I said went ahead and did that subscribe back to me and I appreciate that 100% but the other day I had this girl that I, I went I watched her video liked the video I subscribed I commented on the video I asked her if she would you know subscribe subscribe back to me um, she comments on the video liar that's it. Not even capitalized. It was all lowercase and then period and liar. And it wasn't even spelled right. It was spelled L-I-E-R and I believe it's supposed to be spelled L-I-A-R. I was just like, what are you talking about? 
about. And so I noticed that her channel was, I think it was in Spanish. So I even looked up the word to see if maybe it meant something else in another language. I'm like, I don't know. Why is she calling me a liar? So I wrote back, I was like, excuse me? I'm like, I'm not, I'm not sure why you're calling me a liar. I'm like, if you don't want to be supported, I can surely unsubscribe to you if that's what you want. And like, if you go to my channel, you can look and see how many other YouTubers that I have subscribed to and I support. So I'm not sure why you're calling me a liar because I have my subscription set to public because I want people to know like, yeah, I, I actually did subscribe to you. I am supporting you because I've had people um, say they subscribed to me and they didn't because A, I watch my numbers ridiculously. I'm always, I check probably like 10 or so times a day to see like if someone has like commented or liked or said something like that, I go check to see if my subscribers have gone up or down. And there are people that are say, oh yeah, I subscribed to you, and I go look and I'm like, they did it, but okay, whatever. So I keep mine set to public just to keep me honest, and that's just what it is right now. But I was just like, I can't believe this person's calling me a liar. And so I was like, whatever, I guess, that's how you feel about it. So I unliked the video and I unsubscribed, and that was that. Well, a little bit later, she comes back and she comments again. She's like, okay, well, shut the door behind you. Smiley face. I was like, all right, that's fine. So then I deleted my comment because I wasn't going to support her channel with a comment either. And then I blocked her because I just didn't want to deal with that. But I was like, wow. Video cut out on me. <sighs> Anyways, I was like, wow, is that what it's like to have a hater? I'm pretty sure it can get worse than that. I'm pretty sure people can be pretty vicious, but it's just... I don't know. Why are you calling me a liar? <laughs> Lie about anything. Heck. Because I go, I network on YouTube and I go find other channels that are similar to mine, similar content, similar subscribers, and I subscribe back to them because I hope that they would want to support me too. I want to support each other. That's what this whole thing is supposed to be about. It just, it just blows my mind. No, it just blows my mind. And I'm not trying to be like, I'm better than you, but she had about 450 less subscribers than me. So, why would you want support? <laughs> why would you call somebody a liar when they're trying to help you out? Oh my god. And I'm not gonna even say what her channel name is because I don't want people going there <laughs> and supporting her. <laughs> Sorry, I tried to help you. You didn't want it. Oh wow. The reason why I'm so like anal about my subscribers now too is because my very first subscriber and I can't I can't find her channel anymore. I think she deleted it. But she commented on one of my videos. Like I can't even find the comment anymore. She commented on one of my videos and she said, Oh, you know, I love your channel. We should support each other. I'm your new subby. I'm your first subby. Uh, let's support each other, blah blah blah. So I was like, heck yeah. So I went to her channel and I, I watched a couple of her videos. I liked videos. I subscribed, obviously. And then um, commented on there, you know, oh, I'm a subscriber, blah, blah blah. And it couldn't have even been more than a couple hours later. And I went and looked at my subscribers and it was back down to zero. So my girl unsubscribed to me. It's you didn't think I would notice that? That I had one and then went back to two? Oh my god. Yeah, I was pretty upset about that. So I kind of like waited it out a while and then it never, it never went back up. So I just went and subscribed to her. And I'll, I'm not gonna lie, I went and checked out her channel a few times. And I remember checking it out one time and she had like something up about how she was going to be deleting all her videos and starting over. She wanted like all her videos to like look the same. Um, I guess like background wise or something. I don't I don't know. I have no idea. But now I can't even find her channel. So she either completely deleted it or something. I don't know. But still. I was like really that's just rude. <laughs> yeah, and even if she did that to me, I didn't say anything to her. I never called her out on it or nothing. I was just like, whatever. I swear that her name was something Lily or Lily something. I just can't remember. My breakouts are getting a little bit better. They're pretty much all healing now. And this is just a couple days later after I did that face mask video. 
So this video that you're watching right now probably won't come out for like two weeks. I'm trying to just do two videos a week, but I do like pre-filming. That way I can have them like ready to go and I'm not like rushing to get a video done and out because I've done that before and it's not fun. So anytime I have time to film and want to film something, I just go ahead and do it. I got this shirt at Ross the other day. It's scratching my neck. It says, but first coffee. And I just thought that was cute. Like I see these shirts everywhere all the time and all those like little, oh, what do you call them? Like boutique stores and stuff like that. But they're only like 20 some bucks. And this I got for $6. Steal. Bargain shopper. I was trying to do another video on the day that I bought this shirt, but I'm just not good at that. I need to work on that. I ate all my sushi. All I have left is Inamani, you know. So today's Wednesday. Yesterday was Tuesday, obviously. I don't know why I say that, obviously. Yesterday was Tuesday. The Daffodil Hill palette came out. I had my alarm set um, to about 10 minutes before. So when it went off, I got on the computer, got logged in, made sure like everything was okay with my account, that my address was in there and all that. And I knew that the palette was what? Yeah, 49 So if I wanted to get free shipping, I think you have to spend, I don't, I don't know. I just knew that I wanted free shipping. So I found something else to buy and I was going to get some more of that Morphe setting spray. This stuff right here. But I decided to get a Laura Lee palette instead. And I was going to do the Nudie Patootie, but they didn't have it. But they did have, I think it's the Boss Babe one, one of the new ones with like the six colors in it. I just prefer that over like the really colorful one. I figured I'd use the Boss Babe one more. T so not only do I have the Jaclyn Hill palette coming to me, the Vault Collection, but I also have the Laura Lee Boss Babe palette. So I'm pretty excited about that because it'll be my first Laura Lee product. I thought about buying some other stuff before, but then I held off, but I'm sure at some point I'll decide to get. I really want the Nudie Patootie palette. I think that's really pretty, and maybe some of the lip glosses, but yeah. So anyways, uh, I put the Laura Lee palette, and then uh, I, I was signed up for the notification email or whatever that you could sign up for a couple weeks ago or something. I was signed up for that. And then uh, it was probably about two minutes till it was gonna be like available. I was just kind of like looking around, browsing around, and then went back to the home page, and, and there it was. You could buy it, so I went to it. So I put that in there, and then I went to check out. I was doing all that, and then it got to like the page where it um, has to wait for you to be able to get to the checkout. And my computer must have like misunderstood what was going on and thought there was something wrong and it like went to the, oh, I'm sorry, you lost connection, blah, blah, blah. No! <laughs> I'm out of the queue now! So I had to like refresh and go back to it and then it was fine. But it was probably about a good 10 minutes before I got through. So it was probably like 10, 19 or something like that when it like took me to like the actual checkout. I was so thankful because I was on um, Instagram, like looking at the comments, people saying, it's sold out already, it's sold out already. And I'm like, I'm in the queue waiting. What's gonna happen? It's gonna tell me that it's sold out. I was freaking out so bad. But no, then it finally put me through and I was able to purchase it. But from what I was reading in the comments, now I haven't checked again now um, since yesterday, but like as I was like waiting to check out and reading in the comments, 
So someone said that if you weren't signed up for like the notification email, then you were automatically told that it was sold out. So that's crazy to me. So I don't know if that's true or not. And then there was something going around too about um, if your palette has V2 on the back of it, that that's the good batch. And if it doesn't, then that's the old batch, which Jacqueline Hill has already commented and said that that's completely not true. It's just a batch number. It has nothing to do with anything. And so I don't know. Let's just hope that that's not true. So I'm really excited for that coming to I'm going to be like on my email waiting for the it shipped notification. Very excited though. I really want to play with that silver color and the green one. I hope this goes away pretty soon. I'm so sick of it. My lips are all chapped now from the sriracha. I'm gonna go see what Nico's doing. See if he wants to say hi. I'm gonna go grab his meat. Snackery, weren't ya? You wanna say hi for me? Say hi! Oh, don't touch my nips. You're too crazy to bug. Bye! Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, I think that's all we have to talk about. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. I think that's about it. Just don't forget to subscribe back, please. And if I'm not subscribed to you yet, please comment down below and let me know and I will subscribe back to you. Uh, I've, I've said it before in other videos that if, sorry to be this person, but if you don't have your subscription set to public, people don't know that you subscribe to them. So if you want people to subscribe back to you, I would send those to public so people know that you subscribe to them. And I would also like, you know, put them in the comments or something, you know, hey, I subscribe to you, please subscribe back to me, kind of, don't be pushy about it, just use please and thank you, that's polite. But uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Cut out on me again. <laughs> Anyways, that's everything for this video. Thank you for watching. And I hope you're having a great day, night, weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. Bye, everybody.